Happy New Year, everyone. Guess what I got? <laughs> and I had just gotten back to work on the snob, too. Had an episode written and everything. And well, I'm gonna have to, uh, gonna have to wait a little while on that. <laughs> <laughs> you win this round, Hellraiser Judgment, which is actually wasn't that bad of a movie, really. It was it was a step up from uh, Revelations, it, probably on par with something like like Inferno. And uh, I I may be sick, but I can still go off on random tangents. <laughs> but you can tell I'm sick because oh, I got my sick beard and my sick robe and everything. I break all this out whenever I'm I'm not feeling very good. So I guess. This this was my um, my parting gift from leaving Springfield recently. Everyone always takes a little bit of Springfield with them. Sure, I would have been just fine with like I don't know a Lincoln top hat or a horseshoe sandwich or a Lincoln shirt or something. But yeah, sure the the virus. Uh, all right. Guess that'll be with me for a little bit. <laughs> um, so, I, my symptoms are pretty mild. Like, obviously, there's 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 one that's got way worse symptoms than, than I do. And I'll talk a little bit about my symptoms here in a little bit. But even with that being said, even with very mild symptoms and everything, mm, it still sucks. <laughs> it all started a few days ago. Normally when I do get sick, like the flu or something, it always kind of starts like in my throat, like maybe just uh, a, a faint kind of sore throat, maybe a little bit of a cough. My mouth might feel kind of hot a little. And that's how this started. It, it, it was late at night uh, a, a few nights ago. And I didn't know if, like, well, maybe, I mean, maybe I am just kind of getting sick this time of year, which does happen before. Like, th this time of year, it's not uncommon for me to get the flu, especially with the weather changing outside. I can think of a, a few times around New Year's here in recent years where that has happened. So I kind of didn't know if that was also the case here. But it did start feeling a little bit different. Because I went to sleep, woke up in the middle of the night, just like hellish fever. And I got up and moved over to the to the couch because I didn't want to infect Laura. And she's still feeling fine, by the way. Um, so that's good. And so I moved over uh, to the couch and was just like fighting this god-awful fever. And then it was throughout... Uh, most of the day and the headache oh man I gotta get to this headache so far of all the symptoms that I've had the headache part of it totally the worst man I can still uh, I can still taste and smell yesterday it was kind of going in and out a little bit but I was a little more congested yesterday even then sometimes during the day I could sometimes not now I can. I am a little less congested today, but the fever's back. The, f the fever is kind of coming and going. Sometimes throughout the day, it'll be quite high, then it'll go down, then the headache will come back. But as for this headache, dude, so the night uh, after the first full day that I had this, and I went to sleep, and I went to sleep fine, because I had a fever, so I passed out relatively easily. Then again, woke up in the middle of the night, and it was like this, you know that sort of post-fever headache you'll get, where it's, it's just like sharp and intense, and it's like right around and in your eyes. It's like that. And just like my eyes, are like it hurt, it hurt to close my eyes. Like I wanted to go back to sleep, but when I'd shut my eyes, it just hurt, man. So I would get like this wet wa washcloth and just put over my eyes that, that kind of made it feel better to where I could go to sleep. But I was also afraid to go to sleep because I'm like, I don't want to wake up again with just this even more intense headache that is just shooting through my eyes. And then the next night, I was again afraid to go to sleep. It's like Nightmare on Elm Street if you're just really, really scared Freddy's going to give you an intense headache and wake you up in the middle of the night with your eyes hurting. 
<laughs> and then I, that, then I ran into a different problem where the with the muscle aches and everything, it was actually hard to get comfortable. And it, these last couple nights, it's actually taken a while to fall asleep. But so the headache is, it's almost a hangover headache, kind of, except whenever I would get hungover, it would mo mainly be in my stomach. The headache part of it would be bad, but I could just pop a few ibuprofen and I'd be fine and that headache would go away. This one, oh, it doesn't care. It doesn't care what you take, <laughs> no matter what uh, medicine and everything that the doctor's given to me and recommended. Oh no, that, that headache wants to stay. Sometimes it goes and takes a nap a little because it might as well get some sleep. Ooh, but then it'll come back. And sometimes having the fever part of it is better than when not. Because it's like when the fever's back, I certainly feel hot and it's uncomfortable. But then when it goes away, the headache kind of comes back and that's even more painful. But the most uncomfortable, well, it's certainly the headache. But other than that, ooh, the muscle aches. The first day... Like my legs, it was like, it was like back when I was, when I'd gotten in shape for that last movie that we, one of the last movies that we did. And I got in fairly decent shape for it. It was like that. It was like muscle aches from like a really intense workout or something. But I'm not in the middle of making a movie and it's the holiday season. So I've just been sitting on my ass and just eating left and right. So I know I have not been working out, <laughs> but Oh yeah, I've constantly had to just sort of massage my legs a little bit. My arms would feel like they're on they're on fire. So maybe I could trick myself into thinking, "Oh, it's fine. It's 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 it's, it's sort of like you maybe you dreamed that you were working out and like, you know, your muscles are all sore and like fiery. That's a good thing, right? I am glad that I can still, I, I still got my smell and I still got my taste. <laughs> I didn't know if that was going to go away because the first, when my symptoms got bad, this was before I got diagnosed with it. I, I didn't know if it was going to be just the flu because even then my taste will go away for a few days if I, if I catch the flu or something. So I'm like, well, I want to eat something that I like before it goes away. So, of course, I'm sick and my dumb ass gets McDonald's because, of course, that's totally something I would do. <laughs> Other than that, though, I've been, I've been eating healthy since then. And it, it was feeling different to me. And I, I knew I had to get tested anyway because whenever I had... This is the first time I've had this. But whenever I had gotten sick before, I, I would still go get tested just in case. Like, I remember when I did Exotica Expo last summer and I got the con plague from it. Because <laughs> it had been a year and a half since I had done a convention. So my immunity to the con plague kind of went away. So it had, it had been 10 years since I'd gotten con plague and it, it came back again. And I was 99% sure that's what it was. But I still went and got tested anyway. This one, like I said, this felt different. I was fairly sure I was positive, but I did. I still didn't know. I was like, it could just be the typical kind of flu that I get this time of year. And it took me a while to be able to get tested because all of the uh, home test things that you can do now were all bought up at all the stores around here. And mm -mm, tried calling around at some different places that I'd that are around here that do testing, they're all booked up. But there was one, and it was the place that I had gotten tested at before a couple of times. And they said that sometimes they do walk-ins, so I, I called them to see if they did, or if they were able to do walk-ins. And I was able to, because I'd gone there before, so they already had all my information on file and everything. So, I was able I, w I was able to get in like that afternoon. This is a couple of days ago and went in, got the test, came back home and an hour they were supposed to come back like within an hour. Hour went by. So I was like, oh, that might not be a good sign. Well, I know they're pretty busy this time of year, but I did end up calling them. And when they answered, I'm like, yeah, I'm just calling to see if my uh, results are back yet. 
And she's like, oh yeah, what's your name? And I'm like, it's Brad Jones. She goes, oh, okay, yeah, let me look this up for you. And then a little bit goes by and then it just, I hear a dial tone like it gets forwarded somewhere else. I'm like, ooh, this is immediately getting forwarded somewhere. Like I, uh, oh, this isn't a good sign. Another person picks up and is like, hey, Brad. I'm like, yeah. They go, yeah, okay, so uh, can you tell me what your symptoms are? I'm like, ooh, also not a good sign. <laughs> so I'm going through all of it, like headache, runny nose, fever, muscle aches, little bit of nausea. As long as I, the nausea was there, as long as I didn't move, it was okay. And I wouldn't, I was gagging a little. If I just stayed there and didn't move, which this is the most I've moved in a couple of days, by the way. This is the most energy I've had in the last couple of days. It's my muscle aches and fatigue was so bad. It was hard to get up just to go use the restroom. But now I can shoot the shit on video, so I guess that means things are getting better. Uh, so I'm going through all the symptoms and everything. And uh, it, it, it chill, chills was another one where your body's is like confused. It's like, I feel cold, but I'm under all these blankets, but I'm also hot and sweaty. But, it, but <laughs> my body's is very confused right now uh, and is scared to go to sleep because of the eye exploding headaches. So I go through all these and he's like, yeah, well, and unfortunately, uh, you did test positive. So he told me how long I should stay quarantined and told me all the medicine that I needed to take and, and, and all that. So yeah, I've just been here. You know, I was going to use this time of year to uh, get, get caught up on movies I needed to see <laughs> anyway. And I did. We've just been watching a bunch of movies the past few days. Watched... Uh, Red Rocket, that was good. Uh, no Sudden Move, that was good. I feel like there's something. What else have I watched? Uh, um, t uh, what was it? Tan Tandine, is that it? The girl with the plate in her head? I mean, <laughs> it was like, that, was actually a that was actually a really great movie. I feel like an ass and my head's all over the place. I'm like, what's the title of that again? This movie I watched yesterday that I really loved. <laughs> Um, I got a bunch of stuff I got to uh, watch today, too. So it'll be nice getting caught up on on all of that and just really not doing not doing much different than I usually do around around New Year's because I don't go out partying anymore. So, all right. Well, that that's been my few days. I don't know when I'll be able to get back to work again. There's some stuff I can do from here. Like, I'll... Maybe try putting together like a best movies of the year list or something like that if I start feeling better because I, I don't know how long this is going to last. It's getting a little better each day. Like today, I'm still a little feverish. My cough isn't as bad today. My cough was pretty bad yesterday. Today, not as bad. Today, it's more on the fever end that's kind of coming and going. So... It's been so confusing lately. I don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. Because some days certain symptoms are fine, some they're not. One they're fine, one they're not. So I I don't know. Maybe tomorrow like my arm will fall off or something. And then the next day it'll magically be grown back. I don't know how this stuff works. I'm not a doctor. Mm. So anyway. Thanks for watching everyone. That's That's my update. And be sure to subscribe to our channel. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, I'm still a YouTuber. <laughs> Did I do this video just to title it this? Absolutely. Got that idea from a follower over on Twitter. So, okay. Well, thanks a bunch for watching me ramble, everyone. I hope you all have uh, a happy new year. Take care. We'll see you later.